think of a variable like a box, like this. this okay. Yeah, so this is a variable, it's a box, and you can put a value inside of it. It says int. Yeah, int stands for integer. Okay, so you can put an integer or a number inside of this box. Exactly, and you can even give it a name. Let's call it number of cups of coffees ordered. Okay. You need to pick a long name. Ordered. <laughs> Barely fits. Okay. Okay. So now we can refer to this variable using this name in the code instead of putting the value 2. Okay. And later we can also update it if we want. So let's put the value inside now. How are we going to do that? Well, I have some post-its. Where did those come from? Let's call the number of cups of coffees ordered to be 2. Why only 2? One for me and one for my friend, Catherine. Thank you. <laughs> so now we have a variable that is called number of coffees ordered, and it holds the value 2. Let's implement this in our code. Um, well, performance looks great on right. my new phone, but this older phone performance is a little... Don't say that word again. What? what performance? Behold, it is I, Colt, master of frame rate. Wait a minute, I've been here before. And now you're back. Colt? What's he, what's he doing here? If you say performance three times, he'll just magically appear. Ian, Joanna, what are we doing here at Udacity? I thought we already had a course on performance. Uh, so we do, and that's why we actually don't need you. It was an accident. The words just kind of fell out of his mouth, and we definitely don't need you to go through any apps. We don't whoa, have whoa, whoa, any. No, you, mm, you have a... Gradle. Jeremy. Gradle. Jeremy. <coughs> hey, Mark, what's up? Yeah, I thought you were supposed to release your Android app today. What's all of uh, this? Oh, I just got to use uh, Android Studio Wizard to generate my signed APK today, so I'm just doing my wizard ritual. I hope it all works right. A wizard? Yeah, you never really know what those build wizards are doing, right? So you just got to hope nothing goes wrong. You know a wizard isn't actually magic. Oh, yeah? Well, how does it generate its magical keys and magically spit out a signed APK? There's nothing magic about it. Android Studio can't do anything that you can't do from the command line. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Android Studio, all it is doing is telling Gradle to run some tasks. And those tasks are just using regular command line utilities. So it's not magic? No. And I don't have to wear this robe to get it to work. Oh, thank god, this is so hot. Oh, help me get this thing off. Oh, I never should have trusted that centaur I met in the mystical forest. I shouldn't have paid him 50 gold pieces for programming advice. You're probably familiar with many of the services that are offered by Google. And if you develop applications, your users likely are too. Perhaps they need to find a location or see what's interesting nearby. They're using Google Maps. Maybe you want to monetize your apps so that app usage is rewarded. And your users, they don't have to pay up front. Google Ads is your friend. As well as these, we've got lots of great APIs for you storing files in the cloud with Google Drive, accessing Google Analytics, signing into your application, integrating with Google Fit, and much, much more. In this course, you'll learn how to use these services in your apps. You'll see how easily you have the power of Google at your fingertips, allowing you to build better apps. Before you can get started, let's take a look at getting the tools that you need. You'll be building your apps using Android Studio, which is available at no cost to you and can be downloaded from developer.android.com. If you want some help in setting it up, check out the Android Fundamentals course at the URL below.